Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can enable Hyper-V on your Windows 11 PC. Hyper-V is a virtualization platform of Microsoft Windows and it comes natively with Windows 11, but you need to enable this feature. So it comes on Windows 11 Pro and Windows 11 Education. It is not available on Windows 11 Home. The purpose of Hyper-V is to let you run virtual machines on your Windows 11 PC. If you want to see some examples of virtual machines running on Windows 11, please take a look in the description. I've already done a video on how to run Windows 10 within Windows 11 using Hyper-V. So let me show you step by step how to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 11 PC. To do this, you need first to make sure that virtualization is enabled in the BIOS setup of your machine and then you need to enable Hyper-V within Windows features and I'm going to show you how to check both. So let's check first if virtualization is enabled on the hardware level. So click search here and type task manager and then click on task manager and then task manager here let me a little bit put it bigger click on performance and then here you see virtualization it says that it is enabled so by the way if task manager doesn't show all these details it means that it is showing like this simply click on more details and then click on performance and then here see the virtualization so if virtualization is not enabled here it means that you need to go into the BIOS setup of your PC and enable virtualization and continue afterwards. So now I'm going to show you quickly how to do this on a Dell PC. So go to the BIOS setup of your PC. This is a Dell PC, so I'm pressing F12. I'm going to put a list of hotboot keys in the description to find the hotboot key for your PC. And in BIOS setup, go to virtualization support and then click on virtualization and then click on enable Intel virtualization technology or if you have maybe an AMD CPU go and enable it under the AMD CPU it might be different so enable everything under virtualization support click apply and then click on exit so now that we enabled virtualization on our PC let me show you how to install the Hyper-V feature in your Windows 11 machine so click here on the start menu and then select settings and under settings click on apps and then click on optional features and then here click on more windows features and this will open the windows feature so here under turn windows features on or off you need to go to something called hyper-v and simply select it and then click on ok so Windows will start installing the Hyper-V feature. And the first part of the Hyper-V installation is completed. Now Windows needs to reboot. So I'm going to come back when the Windows system reboots. So now the system rebooted and the Hyper-V feature got installed in Windows 11. The main program to manage Hyper-V is Hyper-V Manager. So let me show you how to start it. Click on the search icon here and then key in hyper and here you see hyper-v manager so you can run it from here and also you can of course pin it to the taskbar and this is easier so right click on it and then choose pin to taskbar and here is hyper-v manager program pinned to the taskbar so let's launch it and this is here the interface where you manage hyper-v and where you create virtual machines and so on and that was all for the installation of Hyper-V on your Windows 11 PC. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will really help the channel grow. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.